Hey guys, it's Marius from Please Fix. In this video, I will give you a deep dive tutorial on how you can create these amazing looking rubber duck slides in PowerPoint. It is actually easier than you might think. If you liked the tutorial, feel free to give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and write a quick comment to help me grow my channel. We are almost at 100k. If you're too lazy to create the slides on your own, feel free to just download them via the link in the description of this video. So let's get right into the slides. Before you start working with the ducks or using them or anything, you first need to download them. You can download these ducks on iconscout.com. They have a free trial where you can just download a few um, 3D models so you can just get them there. or use any other file. You can also recolor the docs on their page directly because you cannot do that in PowerPoint. But when downloading them, make sure you download them as either a .glb file or as GTIF file because these are the ones that work with PowerPoint. And to insert them, just head over to the insert tab and then click 3D, model, 3D models and then this device. Um, this will make sure that you have the right um, file type so it works and you can just import them. If you're not using those, you can also use any um, stock 3D models. I don't know if PowerPoint actually has a rubber duck. They also have a rubber duck, but just in one color and you cannot recolor it within PowerPoint, but you can also use this one, but I think it doesn't look as nice as the ones I have. All right, let's get started. First up, we have these three rubber ducks and when you have 3D models, it's a little bit different than working with pictures or videos, but most of it is still the same because you can rotate them. That's the only difference here. Okay, so first up, we're going to align these three rubber ducks in the middle. So you're gonna click align and then align to the middle. And then we will just make sure uh, that they are in the middle of the slide this should look about right and then we will click the format background tab and make the background black <clears throat> good to create the first animation it's actually quite simple duplicate the slide with command d or control d on windows i'm on mac and then just draw a big rectangle over the slide and cover it up completely, right? Now you want to choose a shape fill, click more fill colors, drag this over here and use the pipette tool and hover it over the first duck. We're gonna use the exact yellow from the duck because this will correspond with the duck and make it look cool. And then just also no outline, all right. Next thing we want to do is go over to insert and choose this rounded rectangle and just drag it over here. Also make sure that it's centered to the middle again and then just drag these tabs to make it this oval shape. Now you can hold control and shift to drag it bigger. Something like this should be good and then mark the big yellow rectangle and then mark the blue rectangle while holding shift and click subtract. That's all the magic. There's nothing more to it. <laughs> now you just mark all the ducks and you drag them over and position the first duck in the window we've created. Now deselect this one and drag the other ones over a little bit more. And now just rotate it. That's it. Okay. And now for the next slides, we're just going to duplicate again. Boom. Make this duck. Rotate it a little bit further. And move it over to the side. Now we're going to take this box and make it white. Take this duck, pull it over, rotate it, and that's it. Next one, duplicate, command D, take this duck, rotate it, pull it over, 
and take the last duck. Pull it over, rotate it, make it fit in the middle of the screen and then go to shape format, shape fill, more fill colors, choose the pipette tool, boom, boom, and it's red. And in this case, we can even change the color of the background. So just go and deselect anything and just make the background white. Great. And on this one, we actually want to make the background, hmm, let's choose something blue-ish. This is maybe too strong. So something like this should be cool, right? Awesome. Now, for the animation to work, or the last step to make the really cool animation is we're going to take this and copy it, Command C, and zoom out on this slide and copy this over everything. Now, make this bigger. Again, control shift and just dragging your mouse and then just make it cover the slide. But when you zoom in again, you can't see it. That's the whole magic. Select all of the slides and add the transitions. Morph. And now, that's your transition. That's your transition. And that's your transition. There's nothing more to it. Now, I will just copy over the text. Um, to give you an idea, this is the font Baguette Script or Baguette Script. I don't know. I'm not a Frenchman. Um, and then also here, Yellow Duck. Same thing. You can make the text blue to work with the whole slide. And you can just call it Blue Duck. Blue Duck. And copy it over again. And then just choose Red Duck. And then make the text white. Okay, and then on the very last slide, uh, on the on the very first slide, you're just going to copy that part, and then put over, center this, and then also range and center it to the middle of the slide. Pull it down, make it bigger. I call it rubber ducks. Okay, and then it's a little bit hard to read, so we can head over to text options. And in text options, we are going to choose a shadow. And we're just going to use... Can I drag this over? No, I can't. Okay, just choose any shadow and then increase the blur. So we'll have this 3D effect. The only thing that you have to take care of now is that if we head over to the transitions tab again and preview this, it actually looks fine. But if you want to drag this down, oops. So this one to go down when we go to the next slide, as you can see, it won't look right because it's on top of everything. And this is the most important thing when working with Morph to make sure that everything is in the right order. So select anything, text, 3D model, um, or rectangle, go to shape format and hit the selection pane. And on the right, you will now see what is on the very top and what is on the very bottom. So basically everything is stacked upon in PowerPoint. And to do this, we just drag this down under the free from 10. The free from 10 is this yellow thing. And do the same thing here. Text box goes under the free from 10. So now if we're going to play the preview, you will see that's below. And this is also something that a lot of people see when something glitches in between transitions. So I can actually demonstrate that right now. So if we want to pull that duck in the very front, right, it will look glitchy because Whoop, have you seen that, that little glitch? Because on this slide, the duck is in the very front of the slide and here it's behind all of the stuff. 
So while it's transitioning, it's like, ah, okay, here it is on top and here it's below. So it then has this moment where it glitches over. So always make sure that the arrangement of all of your 3D models, objects, and text is um, the same when you're using Morph to transition between slides. That sums it up for this video. As always, if you like the video, feel free to give me a like, follow. Um, happy to reach 100k soon, or maybe when I post this video, we already reached 100k. Um, I'm going to continue to post this content here on YouTube and I hope you guys really like it. Um, see you guys in the next one.